Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the goodness of God. Last episode, we talked about how to divide goodness into categories. Today, is God truly good in that sense? Some people think that because God doesn't have a type or a proper classification, he can't be considered good in that sense. However, there are two points to consider. First, that types and classifications all have to come from somewhere, and that's where God comes in. Far from being classified himself, he actually gives every created thing their own type and proper nature, and their purpose as well. So the role of God really transcends things like types and classifications. Some people say that since all goodness is desirable in some sense, God must be desirable in order to be good. However, many people don't desire God at all. Instead, they desire lots of other things which satisfy certain desires for them or fulfill functions that lead to other goals. In short, they'd rather have other perfections instead of God. However, as we showed in episode 267, God has within himself all other perfections of all other created things. That means that every goodness which it's possible for anyone to desire can also be found more perfectly in God. So, why don't people desire God if that's the case? Well, mainly, it's because people don't understand what God is really all about. Some people see the power of God and none of his other qualities, then immediately begin blaming him for every bad thing that he could by brute force have prevented. Others see the moral purity of God as though it were some artificial construct which God set in motion so that he could accuse people of violating it. In both of those cases, and many others, the problem is the same. They don't understand the nature of God. And because they don't know what God is really like, they dislike the person that they falsely believe God to be. In reality, God is the ultimate source and greatest fulfillment of every kind of goodness, perfect in an absolute transcendent way. Not only is he good, but no one and nothing can possibly deserve to be called good by comparison to him. That's what Jesus meant when he said, None is good but one, that is God. Mark 10, 18b Next time, is God the ultimate goodness? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.